Good morning, my friends. This is the uh, Golden Pond. We're going to have our cooking show. And today I'm going to make something that a lot of people have never heard of and everybody loves it. It's, I'm going to make spaghetti sauce with spaghetti. And with the spaghetti goes uh, celery, onions, artichoke hearts, salt and pepper, Romano cheese. And before I continue, Buona salute, mangia bene, which means good health and eat well. And I've got some onions chopped up and they're browning on, in the oil. I'm going to add celery and then we're going to wait and proceed when everyone's here. This is a minced garlic. I'm going to put in, because it's a double batch, I'm going to put in four of them. It's all on the bottom, it's all on the to be done. This is fresh basil. Fresh basil. Basil there? Basil, yeah. yeah, I want to use a little bit of this. So why would you use up uh, both, Frida? Hmm? Why would you use both? The fresh one, the fresh one gives off more flavor than the dried one. Yeah. Uh, but which you can tell just by smelling. You see absolutely. You the package. Absolutely. Yes. So you're ready for that? I am. You want me to get that? No, I got it. Use a six ounce can. This is a double batch, so I'm going to use a little more. Oil. 
simmer for about, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to fill the tub with water and get ready for the spaghetti. And we're all done. Wow. When did you put the artichokes in? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I need uh, three artichokes over there. I have four cans of artichokes, Reno. Bring them over. Uh, are these the correct ones? They're the cento, quartered artichoke part? Yep. Tento? Okay. Sorry. So what do we do with them, Reno? We're going to drain them. I, put, I threw them a little way, which I could have used to drain them. Do you need the juice? No, I don't need the juice. All right, so I can drain them out completely. Reno, I had to jog last night because I knew I was going to have pasta today. Okay. That's wonderful. <laughs> We're going to put in a half a cube, I mean a, a half of a stick of butter. Put in the, uh, the, the turbo of the broth here. Yeah. Put it in there? Yeah, put it in. Reno, it's been really hot these days. What have you been doing to keep cool? Nothing. I hope they show this in the summer, in the winter time. And we'll think about how it's like 95 today outside. Hot and humid. Should we turn it here. up a little? 
All right. Ask him where the broth came from. Where'd you get the broth? Chicken broth. It's chicken broth. It's mine. It's yours. Did you make um, a stock or you just no, had it? No, no, it's collagen. I've never done it with homemade broth. You I'll haven't, see, really? I bet it's even better. Have you made homemade broth before? Oh, all the time, yeah. Once you get that bubbling, dump in the four cans. Okay. Okay? Put the cheese in, please. How, how much cheese should I put in Reno? Tell me when. That's good. Okay. So what kind of cheese is it? That's homemade. I mean, that's good Romano. Good Romano, as yeah. opposed to the bad kind. Well, ooh. Uh, now, uh, take the artichokes. We have some lovely artichoke hearts, four cans. Yeah. That have been quartered. That have been quartered. Actually, they were a quartered in the They're can. They're all quartered. Okay, dump it right in. Nice and easy. Go ahead. That's one hearty dish. It is. <laughs> boom, boom. Now, all we have to do is cook the spaghetti and we're all set. I'm gonna set the table. All right. It's a, what is that called when you, it's pregnancy. Would, it's, uh, when you relate I know, to them. I know what and, you, mean, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I you have wife, morning sickness with your wife. I think we know how. My wife had three kids. She was never sick a day in her life, and I was sick for nine months. You told us that story. Oh my God, we were hysterical. I'd get up in the bar, and, oh. Oh. and she would laugh at me. I wish I could have projected my morning sickness on my husband. That would have been nice. <laughs> Seriously. You always want company anyway. Yeah, yeah. misery loves company. Well, of course. Yeah. All right, so we'll get the spaghetti in now, right? Oh, yeah. Well. We got the spaghetti, we got the sauce all ready. All we need is the people to eat and the cheese. Everybody here wants to know why you don't break the spaghetti in half. You don't? I grew up in an Italian family. If I broke spaghetti, they wouldn't feed me for two days. <laughs> just not allowed. Just, they just don't do that. No, if you watch uh, the cooking shows on TV, all the Italian women will tell you, don't break the spaghetti. <laughs> it ruins it. I don't know if it ruins it, I think it's just. It's just bad manners. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's good. No. So we can all no. You know, stay like don't that. You marry me, Bill. Stay like you that. You know I love you. Oh, God. Oh, she wants you. Stay there. Stay, huh? stay there with the spoon she like you just had. That's a great picture. <laughs> what, it wants to be spooning? <laughs> no. It's not Hey, hey, we're hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I hear it's somebody's hey, birthday. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sharon. Happy birthday.
Next week I make a fried dough. Oh, that's even better. Next oh, week. well, I'll be oh, your oh, next yes, week. Shoot me. <laughs> can, we have, can we try it out now? Just so we'll, have it, we'll know exactly what it's like. I'm only kidding. I'll, I'll have fried dough with you, Mona. This is when. And that's Donna's favorite thing. It huh? is. She had, she had fried dough at the zoo. And that's right. At the she zoo. couldn't leave without getting fried dough. That's and right. And she didn't know she could just get it here. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> But was it good there? Donna, was that a good fire dough? It was it was good. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to lay it a little on or can I pick it up and, it's a, and a just CD pour it all on? Me. Oh look at that. Baton Rouge. No, I, I want to best friends there. Can I move it closer? Yeah, but oh, wow. so back. So this is not part of one. Oh, oh right. good. That's I couldn't play it on my Reno, system. that looks delicious. Hey Phyllis! Get the There's a chair over here. Get the cheese. Well, don't put uh, cheese on it yet, you know? Not yet. Not yet, because he needs without cheese. I need some without cheese. We need a bowl without cheese first. Why don't we split it? Some with some up. We can split it. Now look, I'm low right here. Oh, that's good. So actually, is a higher chair better for you or a lower chair? Let me see it. Yeah, my sauce. Pasta with artichoke sauce, I think. What is that? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look. Wow. Another beautiful dish. I know. Look at that. It has two plenty bowls. It just can't wait, Reno. They're no, so can't. excited. Yeah. It smells good, too. It looks good, too. Smells perfect. Well, well, this is my bowl. I can have that, but I can. No, All right. I give him some of no right. Oh, does that look good? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. There you go. You can have two more, nice. Thank you. Now, do we put oh, cheese yeah. on it? Yeah, put cheese on it. Put cheese on it. What else is on it? There, there's, what is in it besides artichokes? Sun dried tomatoes. Sun dried tomatoes. Celery, onion. Wow. I'm excited. Look at that. You're pretty clever. <laughs> it's a good thing you have. <laughs> I'll get somebody else first. Oh, no. get somebody else first. Thank you. Do you, you mind if I serve Reno? No, no you can go ahead. Thank yeah, you. Some leaking around the bottom there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he can tell you how to make it. He can't tell you how to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. No. Mm. 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 Reno, Reno, Reno. 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 Yeah, I'll find. She might even be right here. Okay. Yeah. This is delicious. Very good. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. Oh, it's so yummy. No. Oh, you don't know what you missed? I have any chance. I have any chance. Thank you, guys. I know. Mama, why do you eat if you don't like actual food? Mama, right. They don't want to catch Mama just so they can. Well, this is awful. I think I might have some more. <laughs> just, just make it feel bad. That's it, because I gotta watch my schoolboy figure. <laughs> Put this wax on the last day. A real Okay. Well, Reno, we had another successful show. Everybody's eating their full. How about we have some dessert? She's on right now. And happy birthday. Happy birthday, Reno. I'll give you a four. Till next week. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else.
Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. A very special dessert done by a woman from Hopkinton that yes. I've started using regularly. We had your residents participating both as vendors and as shoppers. Yeah. And that oh, was that so was so much so fun! Uh, Real Hopkinton Housewives, if you're on Facebook, you will have a blast. Thanks for joining Cheers, us. Cheers, guys. Thank great. you. Yeah, good to see you, see too. You guys. Bye. Welcome to the Senior View. And today we have some very special guests who do some very special work. We've done a lot of charity quilts. We've done quilts for veterans. We've done quilts for the Serenity House. So we try to figure out what are your goals, what's your time frame, what's your motivation for, me for moving, What's the situation with the house? I love to be beside the sun, beside the sea, beside the sea, by the beautiful sea. Features share their art, followed by an open mic with people who come from near and far. Think Jackson Pollock in monochromatic brown. When the owls finally roost and small creatures can safely sleep, I can sleep too. I sang with the master and danced for eternity in the light of the moon. I'm Dr. Bruce Carlin. Welcome to Physician Focus. A caregiver's burden can take people by surprise and seem overwhelming. More than one in three Americans are living with prediabetes. Complicated grief can increase the risk of physical and mental illness, substance abuse, and suicide. Healthy eating promotes good health and reduces the risk for chronic illness. People will get arm pain. About 80 to 90 percent of people have arm pain after the HPV vaccines. Hi, I'm Cheryl Peralt, host of the program Meet Your Neighbor on HCAM TV. Kids got so much on their plate, mm -hmm. and they're traveling here and they're traveling there. You know, they still they still need help from time to time. My father always was outdoors. I mean, he grew up, he had pet baby squirrels. This show introduces you to Hopkinton residents, the many interesting people who are our neighbors, and we invite them to share stories, experiences, insights, and observations from their lives. Hi, welcome to Great Gardens. Just make sure that you water regularly and through November. So I think we can go ahead and start uh, back going here. I think fall is one of the best times to plant roses. When you can squeeze your soil and hold it together, that's good. Just a minute, folks. It's diving, driving time, and we got a great Western for you today. Diving, driving is a new program featuring the HCAM staff's favorite B movies. We hope you enjoy these treasured films of yesteryear. Even if we don't get paid, there ain't no job we train. We're hard and break and take the thing to understand a pain. So check out the HCAM TV website at HCAM.TV for movie days and showtimes. Hi, my name is Margie Wiggin, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Hi, I'm Tim Kilduff, and this is Business Matters. I think we've got to talk a little bit about the history. I mean, uh, you were born into something pretty special, weren't you? Yeah. The shop is a, is a safe haven for a lot of people, young and old. 
Business Matters is HCAM's show focusing not only on businesses in Hopkinton, but more importantly, the people who run and manage those businesses. This show often talks to people who have interesting hobbies or careers or different things that they have going on that affect our community. I'm Mary Arnott, your host. There is a huge need for providing food for individuals and family. And that's the key, that's the key. Yeah. is working well together. You can see more episodes online at our website, hkim.tv. Do you have what it takes? Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. I'm Dr. Bruce Carlin. Welcome to Physician Focus. A caregiver's burden can take people by surprise and seem overwhelming. More than one in three Americans are living with prediabetes. Complicated grief can increase the risk of physical and mental illness, substance abuse, and suicide. Healthy eating promotes good health and reduces the risk for chronic illness. People will get arm pain. About 80 to 90% of people have arm pain after the HPV vaccines.